And today, football players are hitting the surf turf here behind us, but you won't or they won't be wearing teal. Yeah, our Michaela Evans is joining us live outside of Brooks Stadium, giving us a look at the tradition football fans look forward to each year. Kayla, good morning. Lauren Dion, good morning. Doesn't the music just get you excited? Now, the Friday Night Lights want to officially switch on for another week, but we're getting a little taste tonight for the annual C&B Kickoff Classic. All Horry County schools plus Walk a Mile will play 20-minute games tonight on the surf turf. The event gives parents and fans a chance to watch eight games in one sitting and coaches a chance to size up the competition. For many players, this is their only opportunity playing in a D1 football stadium. For those at Loris High School, they're looking for redemption. Quarterback Moon Gerald and linebacker Landon Connor say they want to beat Carolina Forest after taking an L two years in a row. It's a good matchup. I mean, you got to beat the best team to be the best. So, I mean, it's just a, a good experience. I wouldn't want to play nobody else in the kickoff class, honestly. I'm, I'm ready to play Carolina Forest. That's all I'm ready for. So we've been doing a lot of extra work, and that's what it takes to win. Loris and Carolina Forest will face off in the second game of the night. St. James and Socasty are kicking things off starting at 7 o'clock. And to get in, it's $7 at the gate here at Brooks Stadium. Live in Conway, Michaela Evans, WMBF News. Michaela, thank you. And don't forget, you can stay updated on every high school football game starting next week with Extra Point. Our sports team will take you through the scores and highlights every Friday all season long during our newscast at 11 p.m.